so now we have created an element we have traversed through the element through the different various methods we have used it and all those things we have used it now we need to understand about the event handlers event handlers is also one of the important concept in the javascript so for example i am taking a button here okay so javascript is an everything is an event based programming only so this is an event based programming so here i am having a button and i am having click me okay so this is the button which you will be having now first what i what you will try to do so here you will try to take catch that button so where btn is equal to document dot query selector so which are thing get element by tag name also you can use it not a problem so i am catching the button with a tag name now let's try to do the console dot log of button so whether we are able to catch it or not if you try to see the console so we are able to get the error on it we are able to catch that button okay the button text content these are all things we are able to see so fine so we now what i want to do is when a user clicks on this button or when a user clicks on this button i need to show some action so i need to i need to execute some method okay i need to execute some method so what i can do here so we have a method something like btn or otherwise if i try to show you run with uh, console thing so run if you try to see here so this is all object right this is all completely it's an object you will be able to see style yeah here you will be able to see these all the methods right so here on whichever is starting with the on these all the things on change so here we are having a one method that is called nothing but an on click okay so this one right now does this doesn't have any on click method implemented to here so now we need to implement this on click method on click means so what will happen is when the user clicks on this one button automatically that on click method whatever the method you have mentioned in this on click it will execute it so how we can mention it here is button dot on click so if you want to attach whatever the event you want means you can check it in that object thing so there are so many objects available same thing like this only you will write it on click of function and you can write console dot log of button click so like this you can write it now if i try to show you the output console also you can see so now here i have used this on click and now if i try to clear it run with js if i click okay so this is all object that has been created so i am doing this console right button so let's try to see on click whether an event is attached or not so i think it will not be attached i think why because ah uh, before attaching only we are consoling the output from um, where it will be on click yeah here on click is null is right right why because before attaching only we are trying to console that one so that is the reason we are not able to get it but actually it will be attached now if i click on this button see here i am able to see button click when i am clicking on this button i am able to execute this function so this function whenever a button is clicked that on click property is there right that on click property we need to mention a function so that whenever your button is clicked this will execute so this one is like good this is about the on click event so these are there are wide variety of events available so we'll try to learn it so these are this is called as an on click function now for example let's say that i have used another one button dot on click so this is the drawback we'll be having i am using another on click for this one only so i am using this console dot log again button again click or something like this okay so here my requirement is in such a way that whenever this button is clicked click me button is clicked means then what i need to get i need to execute two functions here let's remove this console yeah so what i need to get i need to execute these two functions why because for this button i have attached two on click functions so that means button click and again button again click so that means i have some scenarios in such a way that i have written some logic here so afterwards i have realized and again i have finish uh, again i have written on click so that these two uh, whenever a button is clicked means these two functions has to invoke so whenever i do this click me so here if you try to see the first one has been overridden 
and here only this one is executing okay so that means this on click takes only one function only that is a property right it will not take an array of functions it will take only one function and whatever the function that has been latest instance created so that function only will be taken care so here this this is the last function which is created is button again click so that is the reason so that that is the only method it is getting executed so this is overridden by this method so this is the drawback so that means whenever you are having two on click buttons or something like that in real time project whenever you want to write like this means so this will execute the latest one only okay so there is a this is the disadvantage of this on click event so then what you what i need to do so i need to have a scenario in such a way that i need to execute the two on click function something like that so whenever i use the like this on click and something like that so i need to execute whatever the listeners are there for that button it need to execute all the functions means then what i need to do so here what we can do is for example let's say i am removing this one all okay i am having one function let's try to create a one function listener one but this is first listener i am using console.log so button click listener one i will use okay this is the first one and i am creating another function listener two so this may this names are not uh, static so this one whatever name you want it you can uh, i can write your name so just i am writing listener one so don't think that this is a fixed one so console.log button click again i am using so this time it is listener two so this is the two functions i have implemented now here i can write in a such a way that there is a, you can write it at the bottom also just i am writing it here so now you can write button dot okay btn dot add event listener I can use add event listener. What is the event listener I want to add? Click event listener. And whenever an event is listened, so click event is listened, what is the function I need to execute? So this is the function I need to execute. So that's it. You can write it like this. And you can add as many event listeners you want, you can add it. I am adding another one. Add event listener. So here I can also use the click event. So listener to I can use it so now if i try to execute so like this how many event listeners are there you can use those all event listeners so if i try to use this one click me so now this time see the two functions has been invoked so like this the two functions will be invoked so this is the advantage of this add event listener and the disadvantages of the on click not only this one if you want to remove the listener also you can you can remove this listener for example i am using a set timeout set timeout of so after five seconds or something like that two seconds i want to remove this one i want to remove this one means i want to remove one listener so i can use something like btn dot remove listener oh, sorry btn dot remove listener this one this one okay function btn dot remove listener so i can use this remove listener what is the listener i want to remove so click event so click event means we are having two listeners click click for this click so what is the method i want to re remove it so i can remove this listener one so you can add it like this so now after two seconds this listener one will be removed for example if you try to see here what is it i have written something wrong about sorry remove event listener i need to use remove event listener so clear it so if i am clicking here see this time only one is coming so let's execute again so this time two two are printing right so after some time so after two seconds only listener two is only the function which is firing why because the listener one we have removed it so like this depending on the situations when you want to remove that click listener so by depending on the situations means you can remove it you can add it you can add multiple listeners so whatever things you want it you can do the modifications using this add event listener whereas this on click it will execute only once we cannot delete it so there's all things we need to do it so if you want to do it means on click is equal to null you need to make it so this is about the advantage of this add event listener so this is why we will be using more often this add event listener than the on click event okay on click also it will work but you you saw the disadvantage of this on click and the advantage of this add event listener so that is the benefit of this add event listener okay so this is this is nothing but an event handler so how we will be handling that event here in this one so on click event 